All right, welcome back to day number 15. Um, my ankle is feeling better. I took the brace off today. You can still see a little bit of purple. Um, but yeah, I can walk around for the most part. I am just continuing to ice it. Um, so today we're going to play with little movements that I can still do and you can still learn new things. Um, don't mind my hair. I go like, how many days? Five or six days without washing. Then I wash it, I still shower, but I just try not to wash my hair all the time and now I can go longer and longer and longer. And so I'm on like day six, so I need to wash my hair tonight. That's just a side note. Okay, let's get on the mat. Okay, let's go ahead and start in our child's pose position. So you guys know what this looks like. Knees nice and wide, toes touching. I'm gonna have one foot out. My toes touching, tucking your heels, excuse me, tops of the feet on the floor, taking your arms all the way out, forehead to the ground, and just breathing a little bit. Breathe in and out through the nose. And just thinking about your day ahead of you or if you're doing this at evening thinking about the day you had and maybe what was good and maybe some what you would change and while our forehead is on the floor just let everything all of those thoughts of how your day might be or how your day was just let them all melt away and just become fully present. Did I turn you on? Yes, you are turned on. breathe all right when you're ready come on up into a tabletop position we're gonna go into a couple of cat cows so go ahead tilt your pelvis press the ground away tuck your chin exhale then inhale anteriorly rotate the pelvis sink between the shoulder blades press the ground away look up and hips tuck Spine, chin, tuck. Inhale, hips, spine, chin, look up. Exhale, hips, spine, chin, exhale. Inhale, hips, spine, chin, looking up. Two more of each. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, cow. Exhale, really press the ground away here, imagining you're trying to get yourself away from the ground. And inhale for the last time. And exhale into a neutral spine. Okay, from here, we're gonna do some staples. Left hand to the center of the mat. Press the ground away as you inhale, take the right arm up to the ceiling. And then exhale, send that right hand through the hole, right shoulder, right ear on the ground. Left hand up overhead on the ground. Letting that twist happen in that thoracic spine. And breathe. Today might be a twist day, you guys. This feels yummy. Go ahead, bringing your left hand back down by the face, bringing that right hand back up to the ceiling as much over that right shoulder as you can. And release back down to the ground. Same thing on the other side. So right hand, press the ground away. As you inhale, take the left hand up to the ceiling, going over that left shoulder as much as possible. And then exhale, send that left hand through the hole, left shoulder, left ear on the ground, right hand 
goes up overhead. Breathe. Beautiful. Hmm. Breathing a little bit longer. And then go ahead, bringing the right hand back by the face. Press the ground away as you inhale. Take that left arm back up to the ceiling. Going over that left shoulder even more. More, more, more. Breathe. And release, bringing it back down to the ground. Okay, from here, going into another staple puppy press. Keep your hips where they are. Bringing your nose down to the ground. And we've done this one quite often now, I'd like to say. We did it at least two days ago. So let's see if you can slide forward and maybe bring your chin to the ground. If not, don't push it. Maybe just the nose today. Just breathing. Beautiful. And core tight as we're going to shift our way over our forearms. Shift, core, core, core. And then let yourself down on the ground. From here, we're going to put our fingertips right beside our armpits. Tops of the feet on the floor, legs engaged. And then we're going to use our upper back straight. And we're kind of pushing the ground away and our head comes up last. And then we roll back down. Imagine a wave. So really pinch your shoulder blades together, but your hands are just assisting with pushing. So inhale, engage, look up, engaging your legs, and then you exhale on the way back down. Let's do three more. Head up last to make it a little bit more dramatic, and then head back down. Two more, all the way up, and back down, feeling a little stretch and engagement in the back muscles, and last time, and back down, beautiful. Now let's go into our twists, so bringing your arms out to the T, bending the knee, the right knee, excuse me, bending the right knee. As you take that right knee over the left side of the body, you've done this one before, you should feel nice and yummy. And since we've done this one before, a couple times, instead of just lying here, <laughs> that sounds bad, we're not just lying here, this is a great stretch, but really try to engage that right hip, so that right leg, try to get it more so to the, <laughs> rights and lefts are confusing now. Just take that knee further towards your hand, your left hand that's on the ground. Opening up that right hip. And release slowly. Take your time. Breathe here for a second. And let's go ahead, bend the left knee, taking it over the right side body, getting that nice right shoulder peck and then again opening up that left hip so it's going more that way towards your right side of the body and breathe hmm. beautiful Nice, and release slowly. Take your time. And breathe for a second here on the mat. And then go ahead, placing your hands by your armpits. We're just gonna press up onto all fours. And then we're gonna actually come into a standing knee. Ooh, what's happening? Standing knee position. So from here, we're just gonna do some dancing camels, which I love to do. So we're going to take the left hand, put it on the right knee, and then the right hand, we're gonna draw a circle and then bring our hips forward and then switch. You can come down and up 
and swoop forward. Ideally, you'd want to be um, top of the feet on the floor. I have my toes tucked for obvious reasons, but you can put tops of the feet on the floor. And just breathe and really get dramatic with it. Coming all the way forward and all the way back. Breathing and maybe, maybe it's here. Maybe we just do this back and forth. That's okay. That's perfect. Let's do two more on either side. One more. Breathing in and out through your nose always. Last one, and release, kind of taking a seat on your heels, tops of the feet on the floor, making your knees nice and wide, and coming back down into a child's pose position. Hmm. We're moving the spine today, getting all kinds of twisty. Let's go ahead and walk our hands up one at a time. And let's just bring our feet out in front of us. So maybe scoop forward a little bit on your mat if you need to. Bring your legs out in front. And then we're just going to fall back and we're going to take our right leg with us. I'll make sure you can still see me. So taking that right leg, hugging it into the body. We're going to do a couple twists here. All three of my favorite. And so for the first one, we're just going to take that right knee and then hop onto your left hip. So kind of adjust and so you're on your left hip. Letting your right knee fall down to the ground, right hand is extended out into a T and try to keep your right shoulder on the ground. So I'd rather have your shoulder on the ground and your knee not than the opposite. So keep that shoulder there and breathe. Notice how sometimes with every exhale, your knee can fall a little bit more. Breathe. And slowly take your time releasing and hugging both knees into your chest. And breathing. Gosh, breathing feels so good today. <laughs> and then dropping your right foot down to the ground. And then hugging that left knee into your chest. Nice and tight. And then same thing. So we're going to hop onto our right hip. And then we're going to let our left knee come across the body, keeping that left hand out into a T as we go into that twist. And breathe. Again, my knee isn't touching. Maybe you'll notice that one side is a little bit more open than the other. You can look over that left shoulder if you want a little bit more of a stretch. Oh, yeah. Just keep breathing. Relax. Beautiful. And then slowly bringing that leg back, squaring off your hips, and then hugging your knees into your chest. Beautiful. And now keep your knees up close to your chest, but release your hands down to the ground in a T position. And then we're going to let both knees fall to one side. Doesn't matter which one, we'll get to the other one in a little bit. But whichever side you did, just look the opposite direction if it feels okay. And breathe here. 
Hey, how are you today? Beautiful. Now you can either bring one leg up and then the other or both at the same time if you want to really use your core. And then just release your knees down the other way, looking over the other shoulder. And you can always encourage your knees by placing your other hand on them. Not yanking them down, but just maybe just placing it. And breathe. And before you fall asleep, let's bring our legs back up to the top. <laughs> I almost fell asleep there. Let's go ahead and hug the knees back into the chest again. Beautiful. And now for the last twist, one of my absolute favorites, and we'll see if I can do it today. We're going to bring both legs up to the ceiling, and then we're going to scissor kick your legs. So bring your left leg down a little bit, right leg stays up. And then you're going to bring the right leg over the left and then bend that knee like you're sitting at a coffee shop. I don't know why people sit like this at coffee shops, but they do. And then allow your right knee and foot to fall towards the left side of the body. And this is the part, I think, my foot. Okay, it's good. And so this is going to bring us into more of a twist as our right hand extends out into that T and we look over that right shoulder. And if you feel like your breathing is restricted here, it might be a little bit, but just breathe through it. Don't stop breathing. Don't hold your breath. Mm, breathe. Beautiful. Mmm, so yummy. And let's go ahead, bringing it back up all the way to the top. And then we're just going to untwine our legs and twine them the other direction. Coffee top. And then take your left knee down to the ground. Don't whack your foot on anything. And then left hand goes out. And we're looking over our left shoulder. Mmm, twist. So good. And breathe here for a second. Again, left shoulder. Try to keep it on the ground, but if the weight of your legs is too heavy and it just naturally puts you here, I'm not going to worry about it. Breathe. Relax. Don't fight it. And release, we slowly bring our legs back up, unravel them, and then hug them into your chest. And then from here, we're just going to end off going into a happy baby, everybody's favorite pose. So keep your knees into your chest, grab the outside of your feet, or you can grab your big toes with your peace fingers, which might be my option today. And then we're going to bring our heels to the ceiling. And then from here, we're going to open up our hips, getting our knees as far apart from each other as possible. And breathe. If you feel like you have the flexibility, you can always try to straighten the legs here. And then go back to a bend. You can go back and forth between the two. You can do one at a time. Kind of be playful with your happy baby. Or you can just stay with your knees bent and rock side to side and smile like you're a big fat baby. That you are. We're all just big fat babies. And breathe. Beautiful. And then let's go ahead, bringing our feet together, dropping them down on the floor 
And then we're going to end in Savasana. And if this um, butterfly pose of the legs hurts your hips or your low back at all, just straighten your legs out instead and do a corpse pose. Totally up to you. Hmm. We need a good hip opener day. Once my ankle feels better, you guys, we're going to get a good hip opener day. And just breathe for a moment. Hmm. Noticing how your body feels, if your spine feels good, or if it feels maybe sore, maybe uh, things resurface once we open them. Whatever you feel, just notice it. Not mad, not happy, not angry, not excited. No feelings about our body, just, hmm. Isn't that interesting? And when you're ready, let's go ahead and hug our knees into our chest one more time. And then fall into, what is this called? A fetal position on your favorite side with your eyes closed. Just lay here for a second, feeling a little sleepy. And let's go ahead and press the ground away with our eyes closed up into a comfortable seated position. <sighs> Bringing your hands to your knees or in front of your chest in a prayer position, completely up to you. Let's take one more big inhale through the nose. We're going to exhale it through the mouth and we're going to make kind of a sound. So big inhale through the nose. Exhale. Ooh, that felt good. Let's do it again. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. Namaste. That's it. Okay, guys, I have to be quick because my battery is dying, but thank you for joining me for day 15. Um, twists. I didn't know it was going to be a twist day, but it was a twist day, and it felt so right and so good, and I hope you enjoyed it, especially after meditation yesterday. Um, tomorrow, honestly, I can't even tell you what to expect because every day is a new day with what I can do with my ankle and so we will just see but I'm craving a hip opener oh, so bad so maybe we'll find a way to do that on the ground without standing I'll do some homework I'll see you tomorrow bye guys poor little foot <laughs>